this in this video we are going to see the shift right register so we are going to see four bit shift register so for that we need four uh, flip flops to store the four bit of information each flip flop will store one bit of information so where we can find we can find it since it is a memory we can find it in this memory so expand this you can have the flip flops now i am going to use the jk flip flop for building the shift right register so one so as i am going to store four bit of information i am taking four flip flops where each flip flop can store one bit of information so now we have arranged the flip flops now you have to connect j to q okay so all the first we will give connection to the clock pulses so this is the clock pulse the one here this is the clock pulse first we will connect the clock pulses and it has to be connected with the clock car clock you can found find under the wiring so just connect all the clocks now you can see the clock is connected to um, all the flip flops so clock connection is over now you have to give a clear uh, clear button so that when you press at a time all the flip flops will be clear so for that so the total control has to be there so for that we take this button symbol so when you press the button the clock, uh, all the flip flop if it is 1 it will be 0 If it is zero again it will be zero so it has to be clear so where the clear symbol is there so take a button like this and here this is the, there are three things this is a clear so we connect with that we can move this extra okay so connect this clear yes now it is over now what we have to do is clock signal is connected clock signal is given to all the flip flops and one extra uh, control button called clear button is attached to the clear inputs now we have to connect the j and k appropriately so the first since we are going to shift right we give the connection like this that is this j is connected to q and this j this j and we are going to give input here that's then the bits which you are passing in will be shifted right so the input is to be given here these two will be the input j and input k you can see the output from the q so let us connect this then i'll lead all the q now this k is connected to q bar here this is q j k q q bar so this k is connected to q bar of the previous one Oh, so it's connected. And now we'll see how it shifts the data. Now we are going to give the input. now i have given one and then when i press the clock pulse this data will go inside now see here this data when i during the positive edge triggering it is when the rising of the uh, clock pulse it go the the data which is given here so the first day will enter the flip flop and it will be stored there now during the second clock pulse still i am giving one 
so the one which is present here is shifted to this and this one is passed here now i press i want to give a data zero so when i want to pass a zero i have to make j as zero and k as one if i give zero for both which means no change will happen it will remember it will store the data so now uh, i want to give zero so input zero so now here i have to make one and zero that is a function of a jk flip flop so so here the first one one that is shifted right and this new data that is zero is on that now i want to give one one i want to shift a one how what happens see now it is shifted so here you can see 1 1 0 1 now we have written the data 1 0 1 1 like this you can shift the data suppose i without changing this i just press then again the one is shifted the one which is present will be shifted now again i give see this zero is shifted here now again i give one all a one so uh, how much uh, depending upon the input you can shift uh, you can give an input and you can shift the data suppose i want to shift say for example one zero one if i want to enter this data so how to enter the data first let me clear the uh, input with this clear button so when i press this button all the information server is clear now i want to pass this information so which means i have to first give this one so now it is already one let me see it means shall it is zero so now i just so nothing no data is there now one and i press this now one is this one is enter then i have to give zero for zero i have to make k to be one yes one zero so one zero is more now i am going to give one yes then again one so don't change this yes if you see this one one zero one the data is returned so this is how you work with the shift right register